We'd like you to stay here with us in our guest house. And we'd like you to take some time off of work. We'll pay you whatever you were making. Well, get your car so you don't feel trapped. You can come and go as you please. Are you serious? Yes, we talk about it. And we just feel more comfortable knowing that you're here, at least most of the time. And knowing that you're safe. Now, you are doing this incredible thing for us. It's the least we can do. She's like a child. She's just, there's that innocent part of her that, that didn't get enough attention that, that is coming out in the beginning. And that is like, like her relationship with Laura, for instance. It's like, it's very maternal. You know, the way that Laura is with her and the way that she receives it, it feels good to her. It's something that she doesn't really understand. And then, you know, as like she gets pregnant, you know, she has, she's pregnant with their baby and she, it feels good. She has something that people want. For the first time in her life, she has a little bit of control over her situation and she looks around and she's in this beautiful home and uh, and that that's for me that's the middle ground that's the that's that's the fun part that's the part between this person and that person and and for me unfolding it is is just it's all in the moments it's all in the watching things unfold it's it's in the circumstances it's in the the instances with Mike and with John and with Laura all of these things unfold to turn her into this person who has no choice but to act out because all of her power is about to get taken away again and and that's not a place that she's willing to go back to. So much of John and Anna is in the awkward moments. So much of it is circumstantial. So much of it is is just walking on that fine line between right and wrong. And you can't really tell if Anna is stepping out of line or if John should be stepping back or is it okay or is it not okay? There's just so much of it that skirts right on that line. And, and to me, that's what John and Anna is. It's just kind of a dance with the two of them right around that line. And you never really know who's pulling and who's pushing to me. Laura does take her in, you know, she takes her in and she treats her really well and, and, and Anna's grateful for that and then, um, and then Mike comes in the picture and kind of reminds her of what's, like, she, he just puts, she just throws her back into her old life again and again and again and again and I feel like he has to do with the turning points, you know, with her coming into the home with different perspectives and, uh, so just like with John, it's an, it's an unfolding of events. And I think that things that happen with Mike lead me to change the way that I look at Laura. And I kind of see her now as in the way. Not so much that I hate her, but just that I want him and that she's in my way. Let us do something nice for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I read the breakdown, I knew what it was about, and I thought, oh, I get this, I know what this is. But by the end of it, I was asking myself real moral questions. I was asking myself, how far is too far? Is he in the wrong? Is, is this acceptable? Did she do the right thing? Do I feel bad for her? I, I was thinking about the script for days after I read it and asking myself questions that I'd never thought about before. And that's the same reason that I'd go see it, to kind of make you think and to question where exactly is that line.